as long as that center is uh, fully active, the person is at the grip of sex. We come to what is uh, popular people call the terai. <laughs> yes, 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 exactly. Then from there to the crown. So they are seven in number. And these are energy centers where um, every, everything is channeled for activity to go on. So people should not take that advice that uh, uh, sex will help you. So just overdo, overdo, overdo. No. Welcome to Jan Cosmic Foundation. And on this channel, we are into awakening. Uh, we take you back to the source. And today we are discussing a very interesting topic, sex. Uh, actually, I'm not a fan of talking about sex because in my community, uh, you'll be regarded as impolite if you keep talking about uh, sex, the concept of God and you know some of those things. But I think it's very important uh, because a lot of people in this generation are addicted to sex. Uh, people are rushing into sex so much that uh, I can't even explain. But we are very fortunate to have uh, Dr. Bafu Jan here. Uh, he's the founder and leader of uh, Jan Cosmic Foundation. Uh, good afternoon, Doctor. Good afternoon. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Uh, today we are discussing sex addiction. Sex addiction. Yes. Okay. And in this generation, as you know, there are a lot of sex addiction. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, is the world coming to an end or is it from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, the world is passing through cycles. That is how it is designed. It is coded to move through cycles. And the cycle has turned and where we've gotten. Um, all these things are not uh, surprising. There are things that happen within the period. We call it Iron Age. So in our Iron Age, um, we, we function at the lowest frequencies. See? Um, for the topic of sex addiction, we need to come to the understanding of how we are made. Okay. See, you are a spirit, you see, every human being is spiritual. But um, we are just like drivers using vehicles. So the vehicles are our bodies. Okay. Yes. And how the um, vehicle is designed will dictate how it can be used. Okay. Yes. So certain vehicles, you can use them in certain ways. Now that we have so much of technology going on, um, a lot of functions are there for the vehicles. They can do things that previous ones couldn't do. Our bodies are designed like vehicles and uh, there are certain parts which do certain things. See, we have the, uh, in a vehicle, we have the electrical system, we have uh, other systems there, and so on. And they are all functioning to make the vehicle what it is. So our bodies are also doing like that. So we have certain, um, areas within the body that um, uh, energy channels through to let everything function. Mm -hmm. We have the vehicle, there are certain areas where the electrical systems connect to make the vehicle um, able to function. The battery is there and the wires connecting to the bulbs um, headlights and, and so on. So the same way our bodies have 
certain uh, places, locations where the energy is channeled through for our functions to go on. Now, um, there are seven principal centers where these energies are channeled. And um, one of them is at the base of the spine, close to the anus area. The second one is close to the uh, sex center. Then followed by another one, uh, which we call the solar center. You see here? So from the sex center, you come to the solar center. Then from there, you come to heart center. Then you come to the center of expression, where our voice, the, the, truth, the truth area. Okay. Then we come to what is uh, popular people call the terai. Okay. <laughs> In between. Yes, 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 yeah. exactly. Then from there to the crown. So they are seven in number. And these are energy centers where um, every, everything is channeled for activity to go on. Uh, the problem with sex addiction is that uh, we are in a generation where the uh, sex center is fully activated. But the other centers, they are at low key, you know, they are not functioning so much. So the lower centers, when they are functioning like that, we are more worldly, worldly minded. So our consciousness is at the lowest point. The Amos one, the very basic one, that is the one even animals are uh, using mostly. It is for survival. And all the animals, that center is vibrating so much. So, um, then after that one, we come to uh, the sex center. Um, that is for procreation. So, and uh, that center, um, when you are moving from the animal point, you come to that one, the animals are also using it. So, sometimes, uh, certain animals, the lowest center is uh, overactive and they are always uh, aggressive because they are protecting their territory, they are fighting for food. It is for survival. That is the lowest center. Now, uh, certain animals, the sex center is also very active. In fact, all the animals, both uh, active, but uh, some are overactive, you see. And um, we move on from there up. At the human level, we're supposed to use the upper centers. It's only the human who is given the opportunity to use the higher centers. Animals don't use it. They are only using these lower centers. In fact, it is dormant inside the higher centers are dormant in animals. So, given a human body, if we don't use the higher centers, we are only functioning like animals. I see. Yes. And um, it doesn't fulfill our purpose. No matter how we use these lower centers, we will always feel lack. It's like something is missing. A missing link, but it's only because we are not using the upper centers. Now, in a golden age, that is a period that uh, humans are very developed, uh, we are using the higher centers, the crown, the terai, and the center of expression. And then uh, from the heart up, you see, if you have seven things, um, I mean, the fourth will be the middle. Mm -hmm. So the heart mm -hmm. is the fourth and it is the middle. Okay. So below the heart, it is very worldly. See, the consciousness is just um, mostly aggressive and uh, too, too much uh, involved with uh, 
just uh, selfish pleasures and all that. I see. Sense gratification. Yes. We want to gratify our senses. Uh, you, I, I agree with you because mm. you see, when you have sex and you reach your orgasm, mm. you feel good. Yeah. Uh, it's like alcohol, drugs, and you know, other things. Mm. But after that, you are down again. Mm. Yeah. Great. Why? Why did uh, God do it? So? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You see, uh, the the sex center is already overactive. So when during sex activity we brought it out, you know, to the extreme point, then. It's like a, a swing. So we pull it to its point and then it goes back. You see, it returns. And uh, uh, in that way, whilst it is returning, it goes uh, beyond where uh, the balance point is. It goes far down. Uh, sometimes people feel uh, very down after it. But if you return and you come to the balance state, then you feel very good because it's like um, um, you become relaxed. See? So in a sense, it also sort of uh, diffuses stress. Okay. See, it diffuses stress. But it's on condition. You see, if you overdo. It's just like you pull the swing very far. When it comes back, it will pass the center and go very uh, far at the other side. So it goes high, it comes very low. But we need it to be balanced in the middle. Once you keep it in the middle, you feel free of stress. You see? Yeah, I've always been talking about the balance states. If one can keep in the balance state, then uh, he's able to assess spiritual energy. Yes. So, um, the addiction is only because it is only that center which is activated. So the others are not functioning, so they don't catch our attention. All our attention is down here. If the lowest one, which is at the anal side, at the end of the spine, if that one is overactive, then we find the person is really boisterous, is uh, uh, very, very, um, uh, what word to use? They are such persons. Um, they are everywhere active, you see, but on the topic of survival, the work towards survival. So it's good because we need to survive. But the problem is if you can activate all the centers, then it makes you uh, holistic, it makes you complete. You see? So functioning with only the sex center doesn't make you complete. So one cannot have fulfillment. Okay. You see? No matter how you use it, you'll never be satisfied. Deep within, you will still lack a whole lot. And uh, the overuse of it, the other things that the other centers will give you, you will lack them. Because you are only with that particular center. Um, some people sometimes are so addicted to it that uh, they are not even able to work well because they are always in the set mood and uh, you give them work to do, they cannot concentrate. See? So uh, the center for concentration is weakened, it's not active. The center here gives us insight, intuition inner tuition, guidance from, from higher levels. But 
those who are using the sex center overlay, they, don't, they lack, most of them lack the power of concentration. So for example, someone is a student and uh, he's been doing very well uh, using some of the centers. Now it gets to a certain age and the center here is picking up and it gets to a point that the sex center gets so activated that uh, it is at the expense of the other centers. And the same person who was very brilliant now becomes very dull because uh, all the energy descends to the sex center. And the, as long as that center is uh, fully active, the person is at the grip of sex. He cannot uh, leave sex for a moment. They have, there are some like that, you see. And everything he, the person does is uh, meant to let him enjoy or to get sex, to get sex or to enjoy sex. So uh, if he's working, it is only because he wants money to connect sex. You see, uh, everything they do is just sex is a center. You see, and it's wrong because uh, you have all the other centers that need to be activated. So this is a situation with uh, sex addiction. And this generation uh, is unfortunate. Below the heart, the centers are active, very active. Nothing wrong for them being active, but all the rest should also be activated. Then you become a complete person. Yes. So, mm -hmm. Now, so, Doctor, you are talking about balance, keeping things in balance. Yeah. Um, and so, ideally, how many times should we have sex in the night? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm asking this because uh, in my hometown, I know a man who married a wife, and uh, they were having sex, I think, twice a week. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see, the wife complained, and both family had to you know, come together to resolve the issue. And they made it once a week. So every day, the man was having sex with a wife. Mm -hmm. How many times should we do it in the month? Is it um, two times, three times? Can you explain like this? Yeah. Right? Actually, we should learn from nature. Okay. It's easy to learn from nature. So, first of all, um, nature made it in such a way that women will have menstrual cycle. The reason is that the menstrual cycle becomes a break in sex. Um, that period is not supposed to have sex. Um, everything moves in cycles, as I said earlier. So, uh, sex itself, there can be periods for, for sex but not all the time. Mm -hmm. Study animals and you see, for example, let's say dogs. The dogs, they will be there, no thoughts about sex, until the female uh, uh, passes through uh, after menstruation and all that, they know and there is a particular smell from the female and it goes through the atmosphere and they catch it. And so the male smell and they smell it. Wow. So when they smell it, then it's like, yes, yes, yes. It's time. Yes. And uh, they start to look for where the scent is coming from. <laughs> where the smell is coming from. And sometimes they go distance to look for it, the, the, the female. And they go, 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 and exactly where the, 
the female reserve. And they, you see them congregating there just because uh, all of them sent it from distant. Okay. And they come. When that female uh, finally gets uh, impregnated, all the males stay away. Mm -hmm. They stay away. There's no more time for that. You know. So they they need natural things, time things, so that there is time to do. So it's not like every day, every time is meant for sex. Now, um, the system of the uh, female that is about seven days the female will go through the menstrual cycle of course this generation they have problem in their system so sometimes irregular menstruation and uh, sometimes five days sometimes three days and so on but normal is supposed to, natural one is meant to go around seven days. See, so what it means is that for seven days, don't even think about sex. So the moment the woman, woman goes into that state, both woman and man turn to something else. And the centers are many. So some activity, self-expression is coming from the throat center. So you do some activity, like as we are speaking through the voice, it is true here. So the expressive center must be utilized. It's not like it is only this center down here should be utilized. See, we have a lot uh, to do with the other centers. And sometimes we have to catch intuition. That is, to know what is happening in a distance, to know what is coming tomorrow. But if you don't activate here, you can't know these things. They are there to be known. But uh, you know it through activation of the centers. And uh, most people who haven't activated these centers and they are only using the downside, in fact, the memory is short. Small thing, they forget things. People who do too much sex, even their eyesight is affected. They grow a little bit older, their eyesight is affected. Because the energy coming up is all drawn down. So the energy to move through your eyes so that... Uh, it goes through the third eye, the spiritual eye, or whatever we call it. Um, all is withdrawn. So such a person has difficulty uh, focusing. See, and uh, uh, they don't grow older, but uh, they, they, they lose memory. See, short time they forget things. It's happening even to the youth, but it is all because there is uh, um, too much use of the sex center. When people grow older, uh, and uh, the sex center is the only focus, such persons, um, they get uh, weakness in the nerves. So sometimes you see that they hold things and they shake. When they have uh, overused sex center, the whole nervous center is uh, it's, uh, the nervous side of their system is uh, completely down. So, it's very, very dangerous. But you see, yes. some doctors also recommend that we should have sex more often to release stress. Uh, you know, uh, and in, even in case where people are looking for children, we tell them to have sex more often. What does that affect? Good. Uh, the problem is this. The doctors who are saying like this, um, you see, when 
the one giving the advice. If he himself is using down centers, how can he advise things other than that? Okay. You see? So, uh, the problem is every advantage, there is a disadvantage. But they don't look at the disadvantage side. The advantage that uh, sex will help you uh, with stress. Doctors give medicines, but when they give medication, they, they put limits on the medication. You see, the dosage. Uh, take uh, two tablets at this and that time. Why? If you take more than it, the very same medicine going to help you can harm you. See? So sex, um, it will help you with stress, but it doesn't mean uh, it should be, uh, I mean, overblown. That, that is all you are doing, 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 doing. And it will not beat stress anymore if you overdo. It makes you rather uh, sickly. Um, your immunity will drop if you use sex too much, up to some point. See? Initially, it helps you, but if you overdo, then it works against you. Even food we eat, you eat moderate, it works very well. Now you overeat, you overeat, you, get, you become sick. So the same thing with sex. So people should not take that advice that uh, um, sex will help you, so just overdo, overdo, overdo. No, that is not uh, how it should be. So we should all be natural, we should follow the natural principles. Yes. Uh, we should copy from the animals. And I think it's, it's the language of the subconscious. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, so we are discussing sex addiction with Dr. Jan, the founder and leader of Jan Cosmic Foundation. Please subscribe to our channel so that every week you can get stuff like this to watch and advise yourself. Uh, doctor, let's move to uh, the topic of the use of aphrodisiac um, energy drinks, alcohol, and some sex enhancing drugs. <laughs> you see, some people, they want to show their partner that yes, you mm. can do something. Mm. And others, naturally, they are very weak. Mm. And so maybe uh, they like to go to the pharmacy or over the counter, or maybe they can be grocery for some capsules or some concussion. Is there something wrong with that? Yeah, something is wrong. You see, the sex center, just after the sex center, the next center, which we call solar pleasures center, solar center, it generates energy and supplies up and down. So the natural thing is to activate the higher center. And when it is activating, it, uh, it sends just like the sun, that is why it is called solar, solar center. It spreads out energy. So if that energy goes downwards, then it keeps the sex center always on. You see, it keeps it alive. So if you let this center go down and only all the forces down here, it will get to a point that uh, it starts to give low current okay. because it's unnatural you see and it gets uh, nature has made it in such a way that any center which is getting weaker the solar pleasures will spread energy to that center so it is like the sun that is why we call it solar solar and uh, center it spreads energy to the other centers okay. you see in this generation even young ones uh, the solar center is not working. <laughs> All is down here. So after some time, they see that uh, it doesn't uh, function for them. Or it gets weaker and weaker. Just because uh, it's, <laughs> it's just like um, um, 
if you have uh, the, the vehicle, now the battery is on and on and on, but there are other things which charge the battery. So imagine you are going to sleep, you sleep, and the lights are on, the battery is functioning, the lights are on. By the next morning, the battery is gone down. See? But there are things which charge the battery. If it is running with all the other systems, then the battery will continuously charge. Once the battery is charging continuously, then it will not fall so easily. So, the, if all the centers are working, they will keep the uh, sex center also functioning. But we only concentrate on the sex center at the expense of the other size. So if in the night you park your vehicle, but you leave the light on, definitely your battery will go down. It is working, but it is going down. So the same way when you are using the set center, it is going down gradually. So it will get to a time it can function for you. But um, it's not meant to be like that because it's, it's a system that recharges itself. You don't have to go to aphrodisiac and all those kind of things they are selling here and there. No. It's unnecessary. Just activate all the centers within your body. And uh, this one will stay on all the time. But of course, it will not dominate your life. The others are also there. They, uh, you can concentrate. You can do things. You are doing all the other things. And then sex also comes in. So uh, that is the best way. So we become unnatural. Yeah. And I think the best way to move from a natural to a natural state. How do you move from the natural to the natural state? Good, good question. Yes. Um, that also means how are we going to activate the other yes. centers? Because when you become natural, the other centers begin to also get activated. Yes. The human has become very, very unnatural. And uh, it's responsible for all the ailments in the world, all the complications we pass through. So, um, to move from unnatural to natural, everything that we do should be natural. The doing uh, involves internal activities and external activities. Internal activities, for example, mental activity. Mind, when we are thinking, it is also action. It is also activity. So, um, when you keep thinking, 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 uh, sometimes you become weak because you are losing energy. So, thinking is also action. It's activity. And therefore, we have to have natural uh, thinking and avoid unnatural thinking. What is natural thinking and unnatural thinking? Nature is passing through evolution. So all the thoughts that lead to growing, evolving, they are natural. Any thoughts that bring down evolution, they are unnatural. For example, when we use the words positive thinking, and uh, we also talk about uh, mental poisoning, so negative thinking. So, negative thinking brings down evolution. Positive thinking, I mean, boosts evolution. So positive thinking is natural. If a river is flowing down this way, if you are swimming the same direction, you don't struggle. You move with the river. And then the river itself helps you. But if you are swimming against the current, you have problem. So natural means evolution, going side 
get the same direction of evolution. And evolution is all positive in its ways. But counter to evolution is negative. And we are careless about thinking. The thoughts we have on, uh, most of them are negative. Somebody is down for, we're thinking about hatred and other things. You know, we are always uh, sometimes involved with inimical thoughts and we want bringing down people. We do things negative. Once you do that, it's unnatural. So, so thoughts should all be natural. Once you can do that, then you finish with thoughts. You come to the other activities, physical, using the body. Anything we do with the body is also falling in natural and unnatural. For example, we eat. So unnatural eating and natural eating. We sleep. Unnatural sleeping and uh, natural sleeping. So these things need analysis. And if we can follow the natural as our lifestyle, we will not be sick. If we follow that as our lifestyle, then uh, the centers will automatically all get equally activated, balanced. So let's uh, take them one by one, like food. Um, Assembling the right food, the correct way of eating, all these are uh, part of the natural. But the wrong food you assemble is unnatural. The wrong way of eating is unnatural. Yes. So uh, I'll give a few examples and then we'll move on to the other things we do with our bodies. See, with uh, food, um, we have some of the food which actually uh, move down, or we, got, we get them from the earth, like yams, uh, tubers. tubers, and yeah. so on. And then we, we have those. Cassava, uh, 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 deep down deep. Yes, yes, yes. They are connected to the lower centers. Uh, the sex area. Yes, the, the centers below the heart. Okay. You see. And then the food which is exposed to the sun, it grows up, is also connected to the centers from the heart up, the heart center upwards. So, um, the more, you know, most people who eat the heavy food and all the things in the food, uh, most of the things are just uh, those which come from the soil. So, it connects you into the world. So, the lower centers uh, get activated by uh, such food. Now, when you eat more of those things which are exposed to the sun, then the upper centers get more activated. We want all the centers to be activated, therefore we combine the down and the upper. But the problem is we have been uh, using the down one for too long. It's already active. So we should even reduce that one and uh, reduce the food that is down and take the up one, concentrate on that one to activate the higher centers so that uh, we, we get uh, everything in balance. And that is natural eating when you are balancing all the centers. Sometimes people talk about balanced diets, you see. They use the word balanced. Mm -hmm. The meaning of it is that it is meant to balance all your centers. Mm -hmm. That is a deeper meaning. Okay. So if you assemble the food 
you eat and it's not all going to balance your senses, then it's not a balanced diet. See? Um, now, the eating process itself can be unnatural. Once the food is there, it is natural food. But if you eat it wrongly, then uh, it is also unnatural. So the eating process, how do we eat so that it is natural? First of all, for the hormones to get ready, those in your mouth and uh, those inside, so that they, they come to help the digestion. The, sh the food should be attractive. If I say attractive, um, the smell gets into you and uh, the, then your saliva begins to come. It's a hormone, it begins to come. And it is going to play a role on the food you are going to eat. The saliva. The saliva. You see. So the should the food should be uh, attractive to you when you see. That is why these uh, chefs they try to prepare the food caterers and they design it just to make it attractive. You see. Because when it is attractive, then it generates the hormones, it brings the hormones to digest it. Now, once you've gotten the food and uh, you assemble the natural food and then you are ready to eat, put all things aside. It is a ritual. The eating process is a ritual. Put all things aside and concentrate. And as you take the food and you put in your mouth. Put your attention on the chewing and the, uh, your tongue uh, tasting. You see, all your senses should be concentrated on where the action is going on. You see, so you, you shouldn't be uh, having your attention on other things. Most of us are eating, and maybe we'll be. Browsing the computer, ah, yeah, yeah, watching yeah. television, not using good, not our good. phones, and so on. So I think all of us should learn something from this. We should concentrate on the food we are eating. Yes. Uh, we should also think of our, our, our thoughts very well, mm. as you said. Uh, we don't have enough time, uh, Doctor Dan. Uh, we want to wrap up. Mm. And so your final words. Mm. Mm. Okay. So once we get all the natural things going on. There is a saying that closer to nature is closer yes, to God. If you bypass these natural arrangements in your life and uh, you are drawing yourself to closer to God as sometimes we do in religion, we have already failed and the answer will, be, uh, will not be good. Because if you are doing a calculation, and you miss something, then your answer will not be what you want. That's why people are even worshipping, calling on God, and they, they get sick. <laughs> I mean, you're not meant to be sick. You see? They're still calling on God, and uh, they, they, they do all the prayers in the world, and they get sick. Because the calculation you are making some things were not right in it, and your answer will be wrong. So, if uh, we live natural lifestyle, then uh, you don't even need to call on God for your health. Because a natural lifestyle has gotten you closer to God. That is why the statement is closer to nature, closer to God. So, so Beloved brothers and sisters, it is understanding that we need. And uh, if we don't have understanding and uh, we don't live natural lifestyle and we keep polarizing on the sex center alone, um, 
all the time, as time goes on, we see that something is not okay somewhere. But it's not somewhere. It's not outside you. It is mm -hmm. within you. That is where the thing is not going right. If you cannot tell what is coming tomorrow, it is within you something is not going right. You haven't activated the center that does that for you. So you could see things in a distance. You are not seeing it. It is something wrong with yourself, not wrong from outside. So um, life becomes easier if uh, we set things in a natural way. And that connects us to our uh, spirit within ourselves. And, uh, then we wouldn't bother with uh, looking for somebody from outside to come and help us. The help is from within. Uh, we lost contact with the inside because we are so outward bound that uh, we don't even listen to our inside where the answers are coming from. See? So, beloved, um, we have this arrangement to help you uh, to become natural. And then the sex center will function in this normal way, and the other centers will be activated, and uh, you'll be living a fulfilling life. The generation, um, in fact, there is something uh, I'm going to do that is uh, save the children. Save the children? Yes, save the children. What is it about? Yes, save it's a program very soon I'll be launching. And uh, the children right away from childhood as they keep growing, we have to help them so that all the seven centers are activated. activated. So it won't be polarized only at the sex site. Everywhere they are active and they are capable. And it's mm -hmm. like a golden age creature. It's a paradise creature. Wow. Yes. And I'll make sure I bring my kids to the <laughs> so that they can activate the center. Yes. 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 Okay. So thank you very much for watching. I've learned so much this afternoon. I hope you've also learned uh, a lot. Please let's be natural. Let's activate all the centers. Remember, sex is not the only thing in our life. We have all the centers that we should activate so that things will move on successful for us. Thank you once again. Thank you, Dr. Jan, for your time. You're welcome. All right. See you in another video.